back to the kitchen here on Hot Plate. I'm Claire Carato. And I'm Chef Bennett. Now, as you know, we absolutely love the viewership that's been happening so far. Mm -hmm. Your messages have meant so much to us. And of course, for those who are joining in for the first time, welcome to the family and to the home of Easy Recipes. Now, these are recipes that you can be able to recreate from groceries or, the, or you know, ingredients that you can get in the local supermarkets or the markets, uh, your soko. Uh, we try and make it as Kenyan as possible. Mm -hmm. Of course, Chef just tries to switch it up just a little bit. Dobre, dobre. Now, I love the fact that people are getting more creative and having a lot more fun in the kitchen. Thus, that's what we try to do to help you engage that fun spirit mm. in your very own kitchen. Of course, we do hope you've been trying some of the recipes that we've put out. And if you haven't, you're able to get them online. That's on ebrutv.com. That's on YouTube, actually. You can be able to get that on Hot Plate, um, Ebru channel. Uh, and just catch up on some of the recipes that we've done in the previous episodes mm. now on today's episode i'm very excited we <laughs> usually have two sections yeah. where we have you our viewers joining us in this very kitchen and of course going head to head with a friend a loved one some of us have taken chef and myself on mm. which we're very excited to actually still do so keep <laughs> keep tuning in actually we will do that yeah, uh, and of course there's some recipes that we were able to do um during the week that was yesterday um that is in line with uh, ramadan mm. therefore a big ramadan kareem to our very our muslim brothers and sisters and we do hope that the biryani recipe was fun to make mm. of course if you have any comments or suggestions you can drop us an inbox that's on oh chef underscore Bennett yes that is and right and of course on my social media page as well that's Claire underscore Karatu but we also have a page that is hot plate that you can be able to message us on mm. you know we'll get back to you I promise we always do <laughs> we always do, we always do right yeah. all right chef I see some ugh, this is gonna be one of my favorite most best <laughs> episode on hot plate so. this is because we are absolutely the what is it called giving it. you see my mouth is even already watering you i'm just like you yeah you 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 say it you say it just say it i'm too excited right now yeah today we're just gonna do desserts i know your favorite word in i think in the world <laughs> yeah and i'm very i'm very excited because there is a few of you who've been asking for some recipes for mm. desserts because i feel a lot of people are not very good at creating desserts at yeah. home we're mostly good with uh, we, we actually shy away yeah, from desserts we'll because we think that it's difficult but it's not it's not. It's, it's actually not. Yeah. And we've shown you a couple. Mm. And today we're actually joined with a very talented chef, mm. um, who Chef Bennett will be actually introducing on set shortly. And he'll be basically taking us step by step on some of his recipes for dessert. Yeah. yeah. So today joining us is Chef Samuel. Chef Samuel, please hey, join us on set. Hey, Look at you, already suited up. Hey, already, suited up yes. for the game, right? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, thank you for joining us here <laughs> thank on you Hot Plate. Karibu uh, sana. We're going to ask you first. Yes, yes. To have a seat Thank you very because much. i can see now if you see this array of ingredients it's chef who basically set it up uh because um of course like i said it's chef samuel yes yes and we will be asking him just a little bit of questions as to how he landed to the point that he is right now okay. yes okay. so chef maybe you can be able to tell us a little bit more about yourself before we start with the sweets okay before you start uh okay about myself uh, what i did actually is i did a hotel management uh, course. yeah course mm -hmm. uh, but where i did it i did it in france okay so i went to france in uh, 2007 yes i did my hotel management for three years okay and then you know uh, I've always been the sweet tooth guy, you know. There you go. So, you know, I <laughs> said, I, I, I did it, you know, I finished it, but then I said, there's something missing. Yes. So, you know, I worked in the hot kitchen, you know, the, the Kaweda kitchen for around nine months or so. Like you said, the Kaweda kitchen. Yes. No, the Kaweda <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, the hot, yeah, the hot, the hot kitchen. kitchen. The hot kitchen, yes. yes. So, you know, I worked in the hot kitchen for around nine months. Okay. But then I decided, no, yeah, yeah, I'm it's still not, not at there. So, I, went, yeah. I had to go back to school. Now, uh, mm -hmm. I did my... Uh, Hotel management in the south of France, in the southwest of France, actually, okay, yeah. near, near the ocean. It's a place called La Rochelle. Mm -hmm. So okay. after that, I worked in the east now, near uh, the Switzerland border. And yes. then now when I went back to do the pastry course, I did it in Paris for yeah. one year. Yeah. So I did uh, my pastry course for one year. And from then, that was back in 2012. And from then, I've been working pastries ever since. Oh, that is amazing. Yes. I know there's people who are seated at home and just like, sorry. <laughs> you did what, where? Yes. Um, how difficult was it to mingle, especially with the different cultures and, you know, set yourself apart uh, in terms of now in the school when you're learning the pastry? Uh, to be honest, when I went for my first year in 2007, it was really difficult. Yeah. Because, you know, I had to, uh, I did 
French in high school, but you know the high school. I know French, it's uh, just like I live here. Yes. My mom is called. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Then I go. <laughs> then I go to France. Now you start speaking French. Uh, like uh, yeah, I thought I was top of my yeah. class, yeah. but now here is <laughs> something there. So you know, uh, uh, I did uh, you know um, a speed course uh, of French language. So it was a one month before I went to school. Okay. Mm -hmm. So no, but going to school now, you know everything's in French. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're taught to the tools are in really? French. The wow. everything like oh wow. Like even right now, there's some tools that. I still Call know the French uh, word because I don't know the English word because <laughs> I was taught everything from scratch oh, in French. Wow. Okay. So you know the first the first few months are difficult because you know the teachers ask they didn't know my background mm. so you know they asking you questions uh, what is this uh, I'm looking at them like uh, I don't know what you're saying. No so, habla. I'm yes. like, oh, don't, <laughs> is that not French? That's that's not it. Oh, my apologies. Yes. Yeah, so it was a bit difficult. So you yeah. know what what I used to do is I had uh, a friend of mine who was from Morocco. Okay. So no, he knew he knew that I didn't understand. Yeah. So when the teacher says something now he'll talk to me in sign language. Then oh, I say, ah, and I wow. know what it is. He's loyal. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So you know it was a bit difficult, but uh, with time. Yeah, with time, you know, you get now, you speak even uh, fluent, fluent French. Fluent, completely. Uh, completely fluent. Oh, that's uh, amazing. Yeah, so... But in a span of how long? Uh, for me, it was quite quick because, you know, everything is in French. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you make a mistake today, tomorrow you won't make... Uh, the same know, one? Get, yeah, the, the person, uh, your friend will correct you. So, the, tomorrow you say, this guy told me this. Mm. So, today I want to repeat the same uh, mistake. So, no. you know, within a month, a month and a half, yes. I was speaking French. But I wasn't really fluent. Mm. But yeah. it took time, you know, to get the local phrases, you know, the exact, slang and the all that. slang, yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. So, it's like the hot kitchen, you guys. I'm sure there's a lot of slang that goes on. <laughs> and then you can share your... Uh, right, exactly. Yeah. Um, I'm with the mapa. Uh, oh, okay. My apologies. <laughs> I do not want to break the kitchen rule. Oh, so, okay, yeah. <laughs> so it is that people. also, but yeah. he knows what I'm talking about. Yes. Oh, you guys <laughs> have to go. Okay, just leave me out here in the dark. Yeah. I'm just gonna. I, I'm gonna be with you guys, the viewers, because we're just floating as these slang languages being thrown here. Uh -huh. uh, yes. But before we actually just get to know a little bit more about you, yes. I'd like you to kindly just wash your hands, and okay. then you're gonna take us through what we're gonna be creating okay. today. Yeah. No problem. All right, guys. Now this is uh, gonna be. I would call it the Claire special. Claire yeah. and Bennett special. No, Claire, Claire special. Claire special. <laughs> you, desserts is all you, man. No, no, no. This is because I am absolutely fascinated by desserts. And of course, there's a lot of you who've been asking us mm. some of the different ways that you can be able to play with your desserts. Yeah. Now, we have Chef Stavo, very talented, as you have heard. Um, of course, he's just going to be taking through some of his recipes, of which we'll be creating here on Hot Plate. Of course, some of them are pre-made. Yes, yes, Chef? Yeah. Mm. But he will be taking you step by step as to how he came out to this. Yes, outcome. to the yeah, to the yeah. yeah All right, chef. So what are we going to start with? So we're going to start. What are we making today? Yeah, yes. So we are making uh, an uh, apple tartlets. They are uh, actually called tartlets. Tart is the bigger one. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we are doing the apple tartlets, okay. and okay. Uh, this what I have here is what you call in French is called baba rom. Baba rom. Yes, baba rom. Mm -hmm. Home. Baba so baba is uh, is. Uh, Thing behind it is kind of a bread-ish like okay. Okay. dough. Yeah. Because you know we're going to we what we're going to do is we're, we're going to soak it in a sugar syrup. Oh wow. Mm. And the sugar syrup is going to contain uh, the original recipe. We're not going to do it here. Contains rum. Okay. So that's why it's called baba or oh, um, yes. Oh. Okay. So rum. yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. yes. See, I have, the, I have yes. this, the French accent going on there. <laughs> it's also good. He says it's bread. Yes. Bread like? Yes, yes. bread like. Because yes. Because you know, you're like, you're queen cake. Uh, uh, By the way, that's so true. <laughs> <laughs> that yes. is so true. Okay. Because so, you know, you good, need, you okay, what good. this is basically, it's yeah. uh, the bread ish mixture because, mm. you know, soaking it because you're going to dip it entirely okay. into ah. the syrup. So it needs something strong to uh, be able to absorb, to absorb the syrup. And carry the syrup. Yes, because if it's a cake, Cake it uh, crumble down just crumbling. That's true. Ah. Yes. All right, so we can say it's almost the same consistency as the lady fingers that you use for tiramisu when they've hardened? Uh, slightly heavier. Not exactly. Slightly heavier. Yes, slightly heavier. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah, so we're going to do this and the, and the apple tart. Yes. So what I'm going to start with, uh, what I did with these ones, I pre cooked them. Wait, yeah. What happened to cheesecake? The cheesecake? Yes. Uh, <laughs> 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 all right, all right. So yes. we're basically going to do an apple tartlet. Yes. And um, the um, baba home. Yes, ram, ram, baba. Baba. ram baba. Ram baba, yes. yes. All right. Now, uh, basically, how did you get to those tartlets, yeah. the base right now? Okay, the tartlets. And what do you need Chef to help you with? Uh, I'll need him to help me with the peeling of the apples. Okay. okay. So that, uh, what I'm, okay, the base is actually, it's a, it's a sugar base, right? Mm -hmm. It's okay. uh, eggs, uh, it's, uh, sorry, sugar. Mm -hmm. uh, you combine it with butter and flour. Okay. So that, that you make it uh, a bit of sugar. a crumble-ish okay. crumble uh, Consistency. Texture, yes. And then I added egg yolks. Egg 
egg yolks only. Only egg How yolks. many egg yolks and what is the grammage? Because now, guys, we are basically trying to discuss how he got to this yes. dough consistency. Yeah. Of course, this is slightly pre-cooked. I don't know if you can be able to yes, see slightly that. Pre it's slightly yeah. pre-cooked. Uh, therefore, we want to mm. harden it so that, like he said, yeah, the reason as to why you harden it is because... Because uh, apples have a lot of moisture. There you go. So if you make the dough and then uh, you mold it and put the orange, the sorry, the apples, apples. directly and yeah. put it in the oven, the base will become soggy. Okay. Yes. So guys, this is like he said, a butter. Could you tell us the um the grammage? Yes, the grammage. Okay. For that? So for butter, it's uh, 125 uh, grams of butter. Okay. 125 grams of uh, sugar, yes. any kind of sugar you want, yes. and uh, 250 grams of uh, flour. Okay. So for okay, the original recipe says one egg yolk, yes. but you know it depends on the, also the size of the egg yolk. That's so true. for this recipe, I use two egg yolks. Okay. So that's what binds the everything the together. The dough together. Yeah. And then basically line it up. Now, as you've seen, those are basically cookie cutters that you can also use. Oh, this yes. Is the tin. But if you do have the cookie cutters, you can line that up, yes. uh, flatten it, uh, form a little shape. I can see you've done some little yeah, decorations. Yeah, there. The they look absolutely there. beautiful. Yes. All right, now go ahead. I'm going to give you some space. Remember, you can sip your soda as you go. Yes. I'm going to sit right so, next to this pastry over here. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Thank you. So what he's going to do is going to peel them. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll cut them into little, uh, you know, so now here it also comes to French now. Yes. La lamelles. They lamelles. Are, yes, they are, <laughs> they are little slices. Okay. So yeah, slices. So I'm going to get them to slices. Arrange them to the tart and then sprinkle it with a bit of uh, sugar and cinnamon. Okay. And, uh, and then we put, it by, we put it in the oven. Okay, lamelles are the ones that they use also for uh, the roses that they usually create. They create some beautiful roses yes, with, exactly. with the yes. apples that are yeah. not peeled though. Yeah. So they use the top yeah. cover to yeah. kind of form the outer layer. Yeah, the outer layer. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. You can also do that with uh, apples that are not peeled. Normally they are the red, the gold, the... Uh, the what is this called? Yeah. yeah. The pink lady or the uh, or the golden apples. Okay. Yeah. So you leave the uh, you leave the, uh, the the peel on. Yeah, the peel on. You cut them into really thin slices. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then what to do now to get it uh, to make it more malleable? Uh huh. You have to put it in the microwave with a little bit of water. Ah. So you make it soft. Yeah. Then uh, you know it's You'd really it's like a paper. It. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Because I was always wondering like. Now, have you ever seen those little apple tartlets that have a perfect rose created by the apples? Now, I've always wondered how in the world are they able to maneuver the, I mean, to form the perfect petals. And like Chef said, if you want to make it malleable, is the word that you use? Yes, malleable, yes. yeah. As you put it into the microwave for, give or take 10, 20 seconds. Yeah. Uh, just to, you're not trying to cook it, you're just trying to make it more flexible. Yes. Break it down a little bit. Yes. All right, guys, now we are in the process of making an apple tartlet. Yes. Uh, of course, he has just basically explained how to go about the dough. Very pretty dough. And he has pre-cooked it just to harden so that once we put the apples on there, it does not make the dough soggy. Of course, uh, and then we're going to make another one called the Baba Oram. I had to say it in that. I, I just, I came up to say it. You had to, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, now, um, how are you cutting those apples? I can see you're taking in the core. Yes, I'm taking out, taking the, core. out the core. Yes. And then what I'll do, as, uh, as you can see, how they're lined on, on the board. Yes. Mm -hmm. So now, now just... Um, uh-huh. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and just yes. move this. Piece. Yeah, yeah. Are we what gonna can be do, using you can, this now? Yes. Uh, no, you can. You, by the way, you can. Uh, yeah, you can. You can. You can remove it at the Good moment. Right. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you can put it. Yes. All right. It's, it's quite heavy. It's fine. Don't yes. worry. I got it. Thank you. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> okay, now, so then what are the pieces? So how are you going to cut them exactly? Because you said little pieces, yes. but you see, for me, I just go ahead and chop them. I'd cube them you or just them roughly <laughs> chop them. <laughs> chop them. So yes, okay. This is what I've always been doing. Okay. Right. So it's uh, the half, the okay. the cut side down, and yes. then I'll cut it into into really thin slices. Yes. So you want them completely, completely thin? Not uh, see like. Such. Let me let me let me see, see it. Let me see it. So this how thin you are? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to try it. I wanted to try it. All right. So guys, basically, you want to chop your apples, nice thin, but not too thin. Yeah, not too thin as well. Um, yeah. You want to have a little bite in that Muna in that little yeah. apple there. Muna yeah, you can also use it by the way with the skin. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now you can, but most people don't like that because of the tartiness. Yeah, of the because of the, yes, give. exactly. Yeah. Um. So if you, if you prefer to have the skin on, then it's absolutely up to you. It's can up have the to skin you. On. Yeah, exactly. All right. Now I can see you've mixed the types of apples. Why is yes. that? Is it because of the texture. Texture and also the uh, the taste. The taste is a lot. The golden different. apples, they're you know sweet ish. Yes. 
the uh, the grand they are called granny smiths granny mm. smiths are acidic sorry what do they call granny smiths yes yeah. hey, let me tell you when i walk into the supermarkets i'm just like the green apples <laughs> so, <laughs> <but> <laughs> <the> green. <laughs> yes. so it's nice to know that they're called the granny smiths which are actually my preferred apple by the yeah. way i love the crunch that they have and the little bitter the, sour the taste yeah what, ah, it's amazing because what okay what actually people uh, other people do is they use only the granny smith okay and then now they now what what what, what they'll do is when they're sprinkling the sugar on top of the apples, they yeah. use maybe a bit more than you would use maybe if you're using the golden uh, or the pink maybe. Yeah, so it also brings the acidity and also the sweetness. Exactly. On, on yes. But it's nice to have the different textures and yes. flavors with the different apples. So exactly. we recommend that you do exactly what Chef is doing. Yes. For the best yes. outcome, I would say, yeah. uh, based on his recipe. All right. Now, Chef, I would say, like, you know, um, mm -hmm. How has it been in terms of, especially in the Kenyan, being out there and coming back to the Kenyan market and uh, trying to have to incorporate some of the skills and yes. recipes that you've been able to learn there? Uh, it has been not quite easy yes. because, uh, you know, I came back and uh, all the old people were talking about is Black Forest. I know. And, oh, my uh, goodness. To be honest, uh, I've, I've never, I, I've had the, the original Black Forest because yeah. Black Forest actually originates from Germany. Okay. So, you know, when you get the real thing and then you come here and see what is What being is being done. made, you're like, this is not yes. Black Forest. Yes. Now we will, sorry. I didn't, you didn't finish? Yeah, so, uh, you know, getting uh, to try and bring what I learned in France here has been not easy because, you know, people are not used to it. and say, ah, what is this? It's not a cake. Yeah. Because, you know, there's some cakes that don't even don't go even in the oven. Yeah, exactly. But you call it a cake. And exactly. Say, ah, this, it, don't, it has not gone in the oven. Ah, it's not a cake. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So it's been very difficult. <laughs> yeah, to but uh, little by little people, uh, what, I'm, what I do actually with the things I do is I use word of mouth. Mm -hmm. So, you know, a friend of a friend of a friend says, ah, this guy does good cakes. Yes. Try them. Yes. So what I do is uh, I do even like you know mousse cakes, like orange and uh, sorry mango and passion uh, mousse, mousse cake, you know. So such, yes. I did tell you that I'm getting your number after this because <laughs> I love my passion cheesecake and I'm the only one who makes it for myself because it's very rare that you find somewhere else making it. Yes. Therefore, I will be also letting you, our viewers, know his contacts in case you want to order some of those for yourself. And today now, he's making for us. Apple tartlets. Yes, apple, apple tartlets. Uh -huh. And some... And uh, ram babas. Ram babas. Yes, just, yeah. <laughs> that's di direct translation. Uh, direct translation. Yes. All of us are tiny. I love it. Now, Claire. Yes. We've already cut our apples. Shall, shall we start with the tartlets or more? So, what, let, let's, first of all, let's put them... All in one in, board. Yeah, in one, on one board. Oh, they are. No, this is a Wendele. Sawa, no problem. So, what I'll do, I'll just... Let me disturb Claire Kidogo. Yes, where, where can I put this? Right there. Okay. Now, guys, if you are just joining us, welcome to Hot Plate. Of course, we, like Chef said, we are in the kitchen with Chef Samuel. We're making some um, apple, apple tartlets. Tartlet, yes. And what they've done is basically pick two different types of apples and, and peel them and then thinly slice them. Of yes. course, uh, we, they, he did pre-make the dough earlier on, which he popped it into the oven for how long? Uh, 10 minutes. For 10 minutes. Yeah, 10 minutes. Now, 10 just minutes to it, just to get it a bit harder. Yeah, just to get it a bit harder. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Too cold. Just, uh, or, or, okay, what you can do yeah. is to, um, what is it called? Uh, you know, to uh, break the, 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 the heat. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what I did is, what I, what I did is I, is I put them in the freezer. Yes. Okay. So you know, the, 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 you know, the thermic shock will yes. also mm -hmm. make it. Cause them to seize yes. and not continue okay. cooking. Yeah. And now, guys, for the mixture that is the dough, he said it was? Yeah, it was 125 grams of uh, butter, 125 mm -hmm. grams of sugar. Yes. 250 grams of flour and uh, two egg yolks. All right. And of yes. course, we will have that on our social media pages. Therefore, you can be able to refer back uh, to our Hot Plate channel. That way, you'll be able to catch up on yes. how to make the dough. Uh, exactly. Because he pre-made this, so he didn't necessarily make this on the show. But yeah. there is a recipe. Yeah. And then, if you have a tin, which is a cookie cutter, yeah. you can just line it up on that and pop it into the oven, like he said, for yeah, just for uh, ten, 10 minutes. Uh, yeah, even less than between, yeah, 5 to 10 minutes. 5 to 10 minutes. Yeah. And that is about That's it. it yes. All right. So you said you're going to give me some work with yes. Chef here. Mm. So now, <laughs> ah, yeah. what I'm going to do is just line them. Okay. And this, you, you're you randomly picking the apples. Yeah, it doesn't I'm, matter which apples come below or above. No, no, no. You just randomly pick them. Because what I'm doing right now is I'm putting the, the green ones, the granny smiths. Okay. At the outer side. Yes. And then I'll use the golden apples. All right, guys. Now, yeah. if you are just like me who is learning what the apples are called, I'm like <laughs> granny smith. Sizzlers are green. Sizzlers are green. Right? And of course, the red apples as well, which yes. is the... Uh, well, well, the golden. 
The golden. Yes. All right. That is what so they're called. The golden. There's yes. a pink lady. They have a lot of. Okay, so this variety. Uh, yeah, a lot of varieties. So okay, done, so this get one is. You just you don't have to. Ah, uh, silas uh, uh, And yes. is it gonna be seen the pattern that we create there? Yes, because what will do what what will happen is they'll cook. They just uh, give up the the moisture, but yes. then they'll sink and. This will all all this oh, will be yeah. visible. Wow. Will be visible. Wow. Yes. All right. So we should get creative. Can I help yes, you there? Yes. Go ahead. Yes. Yeah. This is my fun part. Okay. Yes. Let me actually just wash, wash my hands <laughs> real quick. Can go ahead. And then now after what after this, what okay. we'll do is just sprinkle. Uh, okay. The best thing to do is to sprinkle a bit of uh, uh, cinnamon sugar. Okay. okay. And uh, put a little knobs of butter, just very Nobody small, so that you know uh, the caramelization will also be uh, take, will be. Very we have some butter, actually. We have some butter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, All right, guys. Now, this is where, basically, you want your creativity to come into play. Yes. Now, I'm just going to, you know, try okay, and make yeah, it just look pretty. You can put them the way I feel like, right? So, you see, uh, I don't know if you feel the, the, they're a bit hard, right? They are a bit hard. So, you know, so the microwave. Yeah, the microwave thing makes them a bit more malleable, you know, and, uh, you know, they'll have lost a bit of moisture. So, okay. you know, when you line them... Then they, that's they won't when shrink as much as this will shrink. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is amazing. All right, I'm just gonna pile on some little. You can just I pile them there. Don't I want. I want a bit more crunch <laughs> in there. I'm just like, yes, some crunch would be nice. No problem. All right. And I'm sorry. Am I taking too long? No, 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 no. It's okay. I can go ahead and take my time. But you know, it pastries and desserts. Is, yes. You have to be patient, by the way. You have to be it's very not, patient. It's not like uh, chef, uh, yeah, hot kitchen. You know, you just put sugar, uh, you know, uh, salt and pepper. And that <laughs> yeah, you know, you oh have to God. be really precise. There's more into it. Yeah, come on. There's what? No. I haven't. I haven't. <laughs> you just shake up the pan like this and you're good. Yeah, right? and you're good. And you're good. You're good. Yeah. This has Let's to be precise. Oh, I have it. to make sure that they're inside the ah, apple tart. No problem. It doesn't matter? No problem. Okay, fine. As long as you do it the way, you know, like apple tarts is more of a, the more of a family treat. Yeah. Because, be, you know, apple tarts is what, you know, you eat on holidays and stuff like that. Mm. So, you know, yes. the way your grandma, your mom will make it, you know, she just puts the apples and, and you still funny. enjoy it. Exactly. Yeah, you, know. you actually still so do. So, the apple tart, you know, you do whatever you want with it. You can, That's uh, the story of you're presenting. Yeah, to now, exactly. Yeah, yeah, now if you're doing the presentation to someone, yeah, yeah. you know, you have to be a little bit more uh, neat. <laughs> All right, guys, that means definitely do have fun with your apple tarts. Exactly. Don't worry if it comes out beautiful. Yes. Or, I mean, at the end of the day, you want it to taste as good. As long as it's tasting good. And, exactly, yeah. Yeah. right? Yes. All right, now I'm just going to pile. Uh, I love the green. You can see I've used yeah, the more. Green, <laughs> yes, <you've> used, <laughs> I've used okay. a lot more of the green, but that's it's fine. Okay. I promise I've, fine. I've put the rest as well in there somewhere. Somewhere in somewhere there. Somewhere in there. And of course, so what goes next here, actually? So after this, we'll sprinkle our cinnamon sugar mm -hmm. yeah. and then pop them into the oven. That's it. Yes. And yeah, and butter. butter. Uh, as and, uh, and for how long will that go? Uh, for around uh, 15, 15, yeah, 15 to 20 minutes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So it does not stay. See, that guys, is stay, that's how easy it is. And and of course, I am such a fan of butter. So can I just yes, put that on there? Yes, put on there. Like that? Yes. And I'm just going to basically just, and what's going to happen is it's going to caramelize those exactly. um, apples. Yes. And coat them with that cinnamon and, the cinnamon oh my God, and the know? sugar. Yeah. I wish I even put some at the base. You should have told me that we're going to do this. I would have put some at the base af before. Yeah, <laughs> before. Before. <laughs> Just to make but sure we get that it'll sweetness. But it will go down. It will you know, go down. Yeah, so it will liquefy. The caramel will liquefy and then it will just spread all over the place. Mm. Okay. Yes. Now, guys, you can opt to leave the butter out. But we yes. would suggest that you just, but you it's, know, yeah, it's, it's better. better with yeah. the butter. Is it yes. not? Yes. And then, basically, I like that I've taken over this dessert. Uh, I'm, I'm so sorry. You know, <laughs> now, uh, let me just turn the upper candle. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I'm I've gone ahead and just taken over. Yes. I, I'm sorry. I love desserts. Honestly, I really do. <laughs> you just do. couldn't help um, it, You right? just tell me if I'm doing the right <laughs> it's thing, all right. though. So it's okay. So, what I did with the sugar, I put a bit less sugar than cinnamon. I put more cinnamon than sugar. Oh, okay. Because, okay. you know, cinnamon and apples, they, all, they always go oh, well yeah, together. Oh, yeah. It's a match made in heaven. Yeah. So, you, this one, you can go as, as much as you want. It's is that enough? That's enough. I put too much? It's all right. <laughs> is it, are you it's sure? Like, it's, it's all right. No, no, no. I'm seeing you. I'm, I'm, are you seeing me? It's all right. Okay, okay. That's good. I feel like yeah. that's good. That's enough. There. Yes. I'm away from it right now. I won't touch it again until when it comes to tasting. So now what you'll do is pop it into the oven. Yes. 
15 minutes, yeah, 15 to 20 minutes you should be done. Okay, 15 yes. to 20 minutes on a regular, um, you know, uh, how, oven. Many, yes. how many degrees? 100 and between 180 uh -huh. and uh, 190, you know, so the, the, the much heat, the more heat you get, the okay. more, the, the better the sugar will caramelize. All right. Ah. Yes. And that yes. is right now based on the fact that we have it on our pneumatic six functional oven. Uh, basically, it has a fan that has the heat evenly distributed. Yes. So we have the heat we're perfectly burning from the bottom all the way up. He was excited. Very excited. He said, it's like, I, I like, eat hey. this oven in my life. What's and happening course, here? I know. And we have the door that at any angle, it stays at the same point. It doesn't slam or close shut. Yeah, and of course, nice. a three-layered glass door that stops the heat from coming out. Mm, uh, yes. Therefore, a big shout out to Pneumatic for this wonderful gadget that we'll be using for most of the day. All right. And then what is next? So now next mm. is our Ram Babas. Ram Babas. Ram Babas. Yes. Ram Babas. There, yeah. so this. Like All right, it's okay if you just pass those apples this way. I, I passed them that way. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> okay. I'll just make sure I wash them here. So okay. what we're going to do is, uh, okay, uh, for the syrup, mm. I do it a bit uh, Later on. in a macho. Okay. I know okay. Mambo. I know mambo. But obviously, I'll, I'll give you the, the, yeah. the correct recipe of the, gra yeah, the grammages and all. Mm -hmm. So basically, a syrup is for, for the amount of water you put. Mm -hmm. You divide it by two, that's the amount of sugar you put. Okay. So if it's one liter, you put 500 grams of uh, sugar. Oh, wow. And then now you, you, pull, you can pull whatever you want. So for this setup, what I'm going to do is mm. I'll put this, the sugar in the water, mm. yes. use the orange zest, mm -hmm. and uh, I'll use uh, essence, uh, which is one of my favorites. It's called. Uh, it's called fleur d'oranger. Fleur d'oranger, I got it. What he said? Fleur d'oranger. Can we get it in the market? <laughs> in the, uh, it's starting to come in, okay. but uh, not very many people are selling it. Uh. So I got an opportunity to get it when. Uh, one of my suppliers was selling it, so oh, I, okay. I grabbed it. La yes, I hope in you guys Engli have written that down. In English, is orange <laughs> what blossom. What they said. <laughs> yes. Orange blossom. Orange blossom. <laughs> yes. Now, Chef, a quick one before you jump into that. Now, yes. I see that the consistency of that essence is completely different from what, what we get into the market. Mm. Yes, now, completely. in the case that we're not able to get the fleur d'oranger, yes. uh, where are we able to get a good enough vanilla essence that will have the, in, the right flavor when it comes to flavoring our syrups or cakes or whatever? Uh, okay, the right... Uh, most of the time, I don't use vanilla essence. Okay. Mm. Uh, there's something that I get in the supermarkets mm. is uh, it's actually vanilla uh, vanilla sugar, sugar flavored uh, sugar that is flavored with vanilla. Okay. okay. With the vanilla May I beans. See that, please? Yes. Okay. And even smell it, and uh, you can feel that the vanilla in it. Yes. Yeah. So what actually this oh, is wow. is just the no it's the caster sugar. Mm. Yes. And then they use the vanilla beans ah. from the pores, which are dried, and okay. then they mix it with it. This oh. is what I always use, even if I'm whipping cream. Mm. I use, uh, a sachet is around seven grams. Okay. Ish. So even though the, you have the amount of sugar, you just pour in one sachet and you feel the difference. And you can get this in the supermarket? Yes, this you can get in the supermarket. Available. Which Available. section? In the baking section? Uh, in, in the baking section. In the baking mm -hmm. section. Yes. Okay, guys, that's another alternative because the vanilla essence we get in the market is usually very dark. It looks like soy sauce. Yes. Mm. It looks like yes. soy sauce, and the taste <laughs> is very interesting. Yes. All right, now take <laughs> away with the syrup please. okay so now what i'm going to do is just put put a bit of water here okay wow <laughs> claire yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i have apples in my mouth right now Love i'm not able idea. to <laughs> <laughs> oh so what you can do uh chef bennett is just maybe to slice the the oranges right okay okay but first i uh, need to resist quarters, you know? No, you can just cut it. Mm. You put it, put it in. Yes. All right, guys. Nikatage. Now, how how do you want to cut? Yeah, that's a good mm. question. And what else can I also help you in? I'd love to help in any way. So this, let me know. This is actually just cut into rough because what you're going to do is to infuse the orange into the syrup. Oh wow! So you can yes. open your cardboard. The way you the way you feel like. Oh. The way you feel like cutting. Yes. All right, guys. Now we have been in the kitchen, of course, making some wonderful treats. Very easy to make. A lot of people get so stressed when it comes to making yes. desserts. Uh, but this have uh, some apple tartlets actually so that have gone into the oven just for a few oh, minutes to caramelize. To and then um, okay. what we're doing is now infusing yes. our water. Uh, our that's water. that's uh, uh, one liter of water. Or how many? Uh, how many this is about uh, yeah. This is about a liter. A mm. liter, yeah. About a liter of water. Of water. That's yes. Half a cup of sugar. Yes. So this is yeah. I'll put uh, half mm. half of this. Okay. Yes. Inside. Okay. That's about it. Yeah. Okay. 
because they also want to get the sweetness. Because you know what I'm going to decorate this the the ram babas with these uh, red fruits, berries. Oh wow! And berries are acidic. Oh, very yeah. acidic. Very, very acidic. Touchy, so right? what I'm going to do? This is the the orange blossom uh, flavor that I had. Yes. Mm -hmm. Going to dump it in there. How how you does said this it's go? what called again? Uh, orange blossom. No, the, 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 the other one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fleur d'oranger. Yes, Fleur yes. d'oranger. You know, I feel like I, I'm, I'm so tempted to ask you to explain. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm so tempted to ask him yes. to, to, to explain what's going on in French and then I'll translate. Uh, and then you translate. I'll translate, guys. I'm going to oh, translate. So that's a challenge for you. That's the challenge for <laughs> me. All right, go. I, 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 go ahead and say exactly. And then give me time to translate. Okay, okay go. So it's uh, fleur d'oranger. See, si. oh wait, oui. oui. <laughs> des oranges. Okay. Des oranges cut, uh, coupées en quartier. Uh -huh. That's the orange that he's cut up into pieces. Yes. Uh -huh. And uh, de l'eau et du sucre. And that is um, that one. Yes. And that's sugar and water. The sugar and water. <laughs> yes. De l'eau et du sucre. Okay. Uh, and yes. then what? What are you going to do next? So now what you're going to do is let it boil. Why uh, no? Moto, moto ne yek moto mob. Mob mingi. Ile inde na to mingi. Yes. But won't that burn the one on the side? We should have one more center. No, no, like, no, no. You just keep it a bit there, cause you know the water is. It's half. high. Okay, so it's, it's okay. Half, so okay. yeah, so it'll. Uh, it'll so what okay. We we'll just wait for this to boil, and yeah. then what we're going to do is you have to dip in the. Ram babas when it's hot. Because ah. when you do it when it's cold, it won't absorb as uh -huh. much as... Okay, so yes. still when it's hot. When it's hot. Now, it, there's a lot of um, recipes that have the soaking in. And of course, it's always better when it's hot. Yes. For example, the gulab. Yes. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm going to ask you to do one more thing in French. I'm going to ask you to tell the viewers that we're going on a break and we'll be right back. On va prendre une pause et on sera de retour tout de suite après la pub. We're going to try and believe that that's exactly what he meant. So we're coming right back, guys. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. So we're here with Chef Samuel. This is Hot Plate. And Claire and Chef, I've been speaking French. And <laughs> Claire, I mean, I, I, I've been translating. I bet, did I just call you Claire? Yeah. Oh, my God. My that was the French. Uh, <laughs> that's it's the French. It's rubbing off mm. on you. OK. I see. <laughs> anyway, this is Hot Plate. And today, Chef, you're making for us the apple tartlets. Yes. And over there, you're making the syrup. Yes. The syrup, yeah, for uh, soaking in the, the ram babas. The ram babas. Yes. So, uh, yeah, what I put in, uh, basically, as uh, we did before, the oranges, mm -hmm. the sugar, the water. And this is your ujafinya. Ujafinya. Just, just, just like that, so mm -hmm. that, you know, it, everything, does, plus the zest and the juice, gets, ah. all the flavors get. Mm -hmm. no. oh. And which reminds us, we had some tartlets in the oven that we yes. said we're just going to let to go for just a few minutes. 10, minutes. Yes. Actually, um, we're just waiting for minutes. that to caramelize completely. Yes. So a few more minutes, Chef? A few more minutes, yeah. Okay. So Did I sprinkle the right amount or should we have rubbed it in there? No, it's okay because uh, what it'll do, it'll, it'll, uh, what it'll spread okay. around the tartlets. Yeah. Okay. So, so yeah, for now it's okay. You okay? Yes. All right. I said I will not question the chef, therefore I'm just waiting to try that. And are we going to sprinkle anything on top or are we just going to have it as is? Which one? Uh, on, on the, the tartlets, No, yes. the tartlets as is. As is. is. Good. Yes. What, oh, you can, what you can do is uh, use apricot jam. Okay. Just to, to glaze apply, it, yeah, to on glaze top. it a bit mm. so it can be a bit shiny. And also the apricot, you know, brings a uh, different kind of flavor. That so, is you true. Know, there's a bunch of the cinnamon, there's apples, the there's apricots. apricots. So it's, oh, you know, it marries so yes, well. Marries okay, so now I can well. see you whisking the water sugar yes. concussion that you have there. Yes. And do you need to necessarily mix it or can you just leave it leave it to sit? Sorry. You yeah. need to, yes, yes, you need to whisk it. Because if you leave the sugar at the bottom, it will mm. caramelize before it mixes. With okay, with the water. Yes, yeah, so when it gets to maybe a slightly warm-ish temperature, mm. whisk it so that it dissolves, and then you can leave it. You can leave okay. it. Yes. All right. And that we said we're going to use it for. Sorry, chef. That we'll use to soak the the ram babas. Mm. And uh, what I'll do is I'll decorate it with the with the berries that I have here, okay. the raspberries. And uh, I have another mixture of raspberries and black currants. So you know the acidity. Yes. I'll uh, I also use whipped cream. You know mm. so. Super excited about yes. that. Honestly, I can't wait to try it. So what do you need, Chef, to help you with there? So at the moment, what mm. we can do is now we can whip 
we can now start whipping the cream. Okay. Yes. That should do. And of course, guys, if you do not have a hand mixer, of course, you can or, you know, um, sorry. Because the corner You also. can just whip yes. it with your hand. It will take slightly longer, but you want to make sure that you do not turn it into butter. That's something I always tell the viewers. Make sure when you're whipping your yeah, cream, exactly. don't turn it into butter. So you'll know once you have soft peaks that you need to start slowing down. Yeah. yeah? All right. Chef will be able to show you what soft peaks that we look for, mm. or, you know, the peaks that we look for. Yeah. So yeah, uh, Chef Bennett, you can go ahead. Just point. This is around 500, 500 uh, yeah, 500 ml. Okay. And for cream, yeah, the basic, okay, the what I, what is normally done mm. is for every liter of cream, you use 100 grams of sugar. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So for if we be beat black forest or for every liter of cream, use 100 grams of sugar because so if you're you, using 500. Yeah. So now we lose now 50 grams of sugar. Okay. Yes. Yes. Awesome. All right, guys, and basically give that a quick whisk, yes. and that's what's going to be used yeah. for the rum babas. Yes. The now that's babas. sugar. How many? How, how much? How much sugar did you put yeah, this, in there? Yeah, this is around 50 grams of sugar. And that's caster sugar that's gone in there. Yes. Now mm -hmm. the reason we use caster sugar is because it's finer and it's, it's, yes. it's able to, you know, mm. able to, you know, dissolve kind of quick, break, it, dissolve yeah. quickly and break dissolves down faster. better in uh, well whipping cream. So what we're going to do? We All right. <laughs> for cream, you don't want to rush it. Yes. Okay. So you normally, have, uh, yeah, I normally start with a low speed uh -huh. to get it uh, nice and airy, mm -hmm. and then now I'll, uh, I'll increase the speed now to to harden it. Ah, nice. Okay. Yes. All right, guys. Now give that a go. Now we still have our sugar syrup going on in there mm. because we're going to soak our baba, our yes. ram baba in babas. there. Now, why do they call it baba? Because I feel like baba is also a Kiswahili name. So, what does baba <laughs> mean? Translation of to that. To be honest, I still have to do research. Yes. Uh, yes. But. <laughs> This is a traditional French pastry. It has been there for ages. For ages. Uh, yeah, it has always been there. So, uh, you so know. So, you can have a pastry of France. Uspanza na easy. Yeah, yeah. Uspanza na easy, you know, tarts and all that. Uh, funza. <laughs> like this, uh, the cream and the stuff, you know, it was uh, by hand. Yes. It was like two liters. So, you used to take tarts. Oh, tans. my goodness. Yes, it was killing a bowl. Yeah, because, you know, the chair said, yeah, we, we, the, the mixer was there, but yeah. Yeah, no one was no using one it. No one is touching it. You have to, there's now, now, you know, how to whisk it by hand and yeah. now, yes. you know, the textures and all that. So we started with uh, by hand, you know, the the hand, uh, the, the whisk and all. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then now is when, when you know, when I went to pastry school, is now when they're a bit more lenient. Yeah. yeah. So you, you use the machines and all that. That's amazing. Yes. But then you yeah. yeah. But you know, when I, when I did the hotel management course, you know, it was like, uh, uh, the machine is there, but I'm not going and to use it. And that's what I'm going to use it. Yes. All right, now, Chef Samuel, there's yes. somebody watching and is wondering, you know, how it is, you know, in terms of being a pastry chef. What advice would you give a young uh, you know, chef to be, to be pastry yeah. chef yes. to be out there still, you know, struggling. Uh, the advice that I can uh, give uh, for everyone out there is uh, research and persistence. Yes. Because for what I do, because uh, the oral taught in school is like sixty or seventy percent of what you did on your own. I do it on my own. Mm. So yeah. you know, uh, according to research, you know, because you taught the basics, and then now you have to do now the research on your own. Yeah. Mm. So you look at what uh, people are doing abroad, mm. locally, so that now you can use uh, their ideas. Mm. Yes. And, and uh, now use them to make your own idea. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yes. So yeah. that, you know, and also persistent, because you know, maybe the, uh, people out there might not be used to mm. what uh, maybe the European style or French-ish uh, kind of places. So yeah. you know, you keep on insisting, so test it. If you, if you don't like it, maybe, mm. uh, maybe I, I won't pay, I won't charge you or something like that. Okay. But they, end, they always end up liking it and yeah. they always order more. So, <laughs> no, but always, yeah, being persistent, you know, just uh, keep on, uh, you know, asking questions. You know, even if you sell a cake, maybe you're not happy with it. Yeah. Just try and get feedback. Okay. What yeah. did they do? What did yes. they do wrong? What did, what what did they, they do wrong or not? Yeah. And of exactly. course, if you are like me, who is just absolutely tired of the ordinary cakes, and you want some passion mango mousse cake yes. for your birthday. Um, how are they able to do that? Maybe you can be able to tell them uh, how to you find can, you. You can get me on social media, on Instagram, uh, uh, Nairobi underscore pastries. Yes. And on Facebook is Nairobi pastries. And uh, maybe by line for making orders, you can get me on 0719. Hey. 512346. Okay, maybe yes. you can say that one more time as you mix that so that they'll be able to catch it. Yeah, so yeah, so the Instagram, Nairobi underscore pastries, yes. and on Facebook is Nairobi pastries. Yeah. Then my telephone number is 0719 uh, All right, yeah, guys, so, and this is now you, I can see you've taken it to high. Yes, yeah. I've uh, increased the speed, Kidogo, because you can see the, mm. the little indents in yeah. them. The, now, it, then is where you know. Where you know that you know the butter and the liquid have started to get together. Mm -hmm. Yes. So now you increase the speed kidogo so that you can get the peaks. 
All right, and I feel like we're about to switch that off. Yes. Yes? Almost. Almost? Yes. All not right, yet. not yet. <laughs> yes. All right, now um, I'm going to check on the tart mm -hmm. Yes. actually, just Should to make be, sure uh, that they're proper. Another five or so minutes. Um, another five or so minutes? Yes. Okay, so, oh, actually he had put the timer on there, so that's a good thing about having a six-functional oven with a timer, so I don't really need to keep checking on them. Thanks, Chef, for letting <laughs> no me problem. walk all that way. <laughs> <laughs> so now <laughs> our setup is done, right? Mm. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is maybe Chef Bennett can keep this maybe in the fridge. Okay. okay. So. Yeah, so that uh, by the time so we are... let me just show them the peaks that we're looking for. Okay. Um, well, this one, I've done it a bit... You've uh, overdone it just slightly more, yes, but it's very because, stiff. Because uh, what I'm going to do is, because this is a bit to be warm-ish. Okay. To warm, ah, yes. so it's going to melt So you need to get bit. it a bit uh, thicker than usual, yes. so that uh, when you're piping it on top of the, on the rambabas, you don't get it... Runny. Yes, Because it's going to fall off completely. Not you, completely, but uh, you, uh, we'll get the design, you know, I'll use the... Uh, the piping bag. Yeah, bags. the piping bags, yes. the, the serrated tips. Mm -hmm. So you'll get the, the proper lining and all. But if it was maybe a bit more uh, softer than it is right now, yes. it might not uh, go well with the it heat. Won't that, hold. Yeah, it won't hold. Okay. Yeah. All right. So what are we doing next? So Jeff? what I'm going to do? This one I'll and may I'll I leave help you? Chef Bennett to do this uh, <laughs> plus <laughs> Claire. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just get the syrup right. Uh huh. No, 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 no. no, no, no. So we leave it. We we'll just leave it as is. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what I'm going to do is now dip. Just drop it down? Just drop them. Ah. <laughs> drop them and you'll see they'll soak. give it, yeah, they'll so give it around uh, five, five or so minutes or even less. Okay. Because now when it's hot, you know, it soaks, the better it soaks. Yeah. So you can just put a bunch of them. You can even... Uh, Claire, shall we? Yes, Go please. ahead, go ahead, guys. <laughs> All right, and we're going to have to make sure that we have the ones that you put in first. Will it matter so that they don't over soak? Because we don't want to break them down, do yes. we? And, and basically just put them in there completely. Yes, wow. in there completely. Okay, so now you, you see can all see the flavors like are just soaking in yes. completely. And now that's the reason. Now you can actually tell as to why you don't need them the consistency because this is not exactly the consistency that you this had, like, like you said, sponge. for a lady figure. Yes. It's not like, like a spot. It's mm -hmm. bread that's completely, bread -like. almost hardened yeah. completely. Mm -hmm. yes. um, the now, lady fingers used to break. It used to break them apart. Exactly. Now, is there any sugar? Sorry, chef. Is there any sugar in this? dough very little very little very little mm. okay yes. because i am in here thinking the amount of bread that has gone stale in my house and gone hard <laughs> because of the kids leaving them open yeah, leaving for them three open. days <laughs> can we use that scone yeah. yes you can you use know that. we soak it in we soak it into you know this water can you do that yes you can yes you, okay. uh, yeah you can use the same uh, yeah the the bread that has been left open and dried up you can use you can make a, a simple syrup or mm. whatever you like yes because the syrup can be whatever you want ah. okay as i said like this one is the the traditional way you use the rum mm. okay so like this one you use the oranges the oranges uh, the sugar you can put whatever kind of fruit you want in it oh wow, wow. and uh, so whatever flavor you want you can use uh, with the syrup the fruit let's make with citrus um, uh, you citrus can, oh, it's better to use the can citrus we take, can we start uh, taking them out now yes because i don't want them also to over soak and we can see uh, do i place them right back yeah on you can there? put them on the plate yeah okay and we can see that like you had said it's yes. doubling in size it's yes. now these have gotten so much bigger than how we put <laughs> them back in there yes absolutely beautiful and they're not falling apart they're not falling apart so yes. we're gonna have that water sort of like drain yes. out of that yeah. and at the same time it's gonna it's gonna add to the sorry i want to just put them upright, upright. no 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 that's fine it's don't right. worry let me and just check on my on the tartlets as we go there yes thank you all right, and then actually I'm going to get a glove and just sort of like start getting these water. out, right? Um, no, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Don't, yeah, it's because uh, of the heat and all, yeah. You so can. it's okay. No, I'm just going to try and, and, you know, try and get them out real quick. I'll turn them later. No so problem. I just don't want them to over soak right now. Because mm. then what happens with the over soak, it starts breaking apart, yeah, yes? Yeah. All right. The tarts, uh, the tarts, by the way, yeah, I've just left the, uh, the door open. Oh, okay. Uh, it was, uh, the timer has uh, sounded. Mm. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I just let the, 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 leave the door open for a while and mm. then remove them. Uh, okay. okay. After now, now, yes. Pardon? To stop the cooking, the heat just, out. Yeah, just to get the heat out of the, uh, of the oven and, you know, just to give, let it cool on its own. Okay. Yeah. Let it cool on its own. All right, as you can see, they were fitting on the plate before. Yes, now, now they're guys, <laughs> they're basically just overflowing. Yes. I'm going to gra grab a glove. Actually, I'm just going to set this aside now. Yeah. 
And then uh, what goes next? So now what we'll do is we'll let, uh, let's get our apple tarts out. Okay. okay. As we let them cool, uh, cool a so bit, we need, right? Okay, so we need them to cool just slightly. Yeah, just slightly, yeah. Okay. Yes. And then, then comes the piping. Then comes the piping, yes. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and put them upright. Sorry, yeah. guys. No I'm problem. that person who's going <laughs> to spread them out a little bit <laughs> further, just so that we don't have them too crowded there. Uh, because I feel like they're still soaking some of that syrup. So we're yeah. going to have three there, four there. Because what, uh, yeah, it, the, the syrup that it's soaking is also not right because uh, when uh, they're being dressed on plates and all, yeah. what uh, other chefs normally do, they put a bit of the syrup. They ah. add a bit. Uh, round, so yeah, so it, uh, it can also continue soaking. Because okay, you know, when so it gets it's fine. cold, when it gets cold, it soaks less than when it's hot. Mm. Ah. Yeah. So it's fine that they're yeah, sitting on yeah, the it's syrup? Fine, it's fine, yeah. All right, perfect. So we'll just let this cool a bit. Uh -huh. uh, so what we're going to do is get rid of our... The, ap the apple tartlets out. And of course, yes. if you are just joining us, we have been having a heap of some sweet fun here on Hot Plate, uh, creating simple desserts that you can be able to create in your kitchen as well. Uh, we have Chef Samuel, of course. Um, I, I, sh I should call you the world-renowned <laughs> <No>, Chef Samuel. <laughs> not yet. I, but... Not yet, but getting there, yes. actually, you may be there, but you're just not <laughs> accepting it. Uh, you know, in the kitchen, of course, trying to show us some of his very own yeah. recipes that he's learned along his journey of being a pastry chef. Mm -hmm. A lot of people shy off from being pastry chefs because they think it's a lot difficult. Uh, but I think that's where the fun is. Yeah, that's, it's, yes? it's a lot of fun because, you know, you play around with the exactly. colors. With colors, you know? with textures, <laughs> yeah. you know. All right. Yeah. Um, those look absolutely beautiful, chef. So, and what I'm going to do is, uh, should I get you a plate that you yes, should please. place that on? Yeah. What color do you want? Uh, you can, yeah, you can use those, the blue ones. Blue? Yes. All right, I'm just gonna actually grab you the, these ones. Actually, um, it doesn't matter if it's on a big plate. I hope you do doesn't not mind. Doesn't matter. Uh, now these are from Paris Land, who have been able to, you know, give us this beautiful, beautiful plates. Of course, the shop is at the Two Rivers Mall. You can be able to stop by there and see just a different variety of the things that they have in terms of, you know, cutlery and plates and a lot more. And they're gorgeous, beautiful china. Yes. All right. I love that the fact that they have also some fun things. Like you can see the trays behind us is from Paris Land. Of course, I can't cook. I would definitely have that in my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> that, <laughs> uh? <laughs> yeah, that's it. That looks beautiful. Yes. Chef. All right. So as I said, yeah, you know, now you, you see the, 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 the cinnamon and all has been a bit yeah, caramelized. So what you can do is before serving it maybe to someone or, or a guest or something, mm -hmm. just apply a bit of apricot jam on it. Okay. Apricot jam will give it a very good shine. So the apricot jam, you just pass it uh, through the microwave for around five to 10 seconds. Just to get, to yeah, to get a bit liquid. And okay. then brush on top of any apple, uh, any apple uh, tart or tartlet that you have. Yes. All right. Um, now I'm going to set these aside. Yes, I'll set these and aside. And I love the crust that yes. is there. The color is absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to bite into that. <laughs> I'm going to try and stop myself from biting into that. And we're going to go straight into now the baba, ram baba. Yes, now. I'm actually just clear this as well. You clear that as well. Now. That is a whipped cream that we had done earlier, guys. We put just a little bit of sugar and, of course, whip that up. And I'm just going to clear this, sorry, because I yes. want to wipe this down. We have these lovely piping bags. Of course, we have been able to show you guys uh, the, how you can recreate this if you've got some plastic yeah. papers in yeah, the house. Yeah, plastic papers as well. Exactly, do, yeah. yeah. And then, um, so take it away. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'll use one of these plates. Mm -hmm. Let me just uh, grab, oh, you. Let's grab it. I just want to clear this. Thank you. No problem. All right. Mm -hmm. So there we go. Mm -hmm. One of those plates. Do you have, might you be having another spatula of sorts? Yes. yes. Spoils for choice. So, yeah, so what I'm using is the serrated tip, okay. the deep ones, yeah? Yes. You can use any kind of nozzle that you need, or, or if you don't have, you can just cut maybe your piping bag into a uh, circular and maybe make the indents with, with the scissors. Oh, wow, oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, what the, most people don't have the piping bags, uh, the nozzle, sorry. Uh -huh. Just cut around the, you cut your piping bag. Let me show you this one, right? Okay. 
So guys, this is another kitchen hack. I feel like we've been learning very many kitchen mm -hmm. hacks. If you haven't been tuned in, please do so online. Uh, you can be able to catch up with some of the kitchen hacks. And this is basically showing us how to make a serrated yes. uh, tip, tip yeah. from your piping, piping bag. Bags, yeah. okay. So it's straight, right? Yes. So what you'll do, you'll, you'll just cut it into little triangles. Yeah. Right at the tip of that bag. So you yes, want right to first right cut it straight yes. and then do the tip. Do you yes. know how wonderful this is right now? <laughs> because a lot of people don't know where so to find these see, tips. Okay, you have that triangle. Serrated. Yeah. Okay, serrated. So when you open it, you know you get, you get the, the same. Shape. Yeah, the same effect you get. That you get this, with that. With only oh. the pipe. Oh wow, yes. that is awesome. beautiful. Awesome. Yeah. All right, and I'm definitely going to try that out. Yeah, so you, what you is should. going on next? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I do that with you as you're doing that? I'm Go going ahead. to use your serrated tips <laughs> as well. Sorry. Actually, okay, so to make it more presentable, right? Yes. I'll cut the tip a bit. Okay. And um, are we going to, can I do that for uh, the, all of them or is it just for one? You can do, you can do it with all of them. Okay. Yeah. So I will just go ahead and grab the same one that you grabbed. I yes. like the way you grabbed it with your <laughs> I'm just like grabbing it with my hand, but I'm doing this for me, so it's yes. fine, right? And then make it presentable by shaving off yeah, the top. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just uh -huh. a bit, right? So what I'm going to do, use, this is, uh, said the black currants and raspberries. Okay. okay. Just put a bit on top. Okay. In the center. Because mm -hmm. now what I'm going to do, you can do the same Has that. Has this soaked perfectly? Or should uh, soak what we're going to do is we're going to pour a bit of the syrup. On top. Oh, yeah, on okay. top. Okay. And around. Yes. All right. So we said a little bit of the raspberry yes. right on top. Right and at the center. A bit. Just, uh, you know, because too much acid also is not too good. So just to balance. Oh, okay. To balance, to balance the sweetness, the, uh, the, Did the I get citrus. It right? is, yes, <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> Okay. Uh-huh. So and then comes of course because comes of the fact the that piping. it's warm. Yes. You want to make sure that your your whipping cream is just slightly more uh, thick than how you'd normally whip it. Yes. And now this here comes the piping part. Here comes the piping. So what I'm going to do is pipe around it. Okay, around it. So that it. it gets the center. So you, you you don't see the red fruits but when you cut into it you'll see you'll it. You'll see it. Okay. Yes. Oh. There we go. All right, can, can I do it as easily right. as you have right now? <laughs> I'm just like, moment of truth, guys. Moment of truth. This is why you don't mix desserts for us, eh? <laughs> I feel so much pressure right bath? now. No pressure. No pressure, no right? Pressure. Nice. And then basically nice. just pipe yes. it. Yes. yes. I got it right. Okay. You got it right. <laughs> and then you so just... Um, what we'll do is the tip. Okay. Yeah. Really? Okay. Yes. I think I want to get the nun pretty side. The nun, yes. No, any side will do. Any side will do. Any <laughs> side will do. You can, by the way, you can, it can also be like... Yeah, like On the ground. Yes, yeah. like that. Yeah, Yay. So what we'll do now is decorate it the way you feel like. Okay, some pecans. I have pecan nuts, I have the raspberries, and you can also use this. We'll use it onto, onto the plate. And mm, it's around. Yeah, just to make it a bit pretty. Fire mambo, fire okay, mambo. So, yeah. now Go I ahead. feel like I want to have a little bit of a crunch mm -hmm. on the top. <laughs> I love some crunch. Um, I'm going to have just one lovely raspberry right on top. Yes. And then a little bit of this sauce. A little bit of that, yeah, you can use it. Uh, just some dollops. Mm -mm. Yes? Just awesome. on the side. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And, then, and, then, and then I'll leave you to do your part. I do mine now. Yes, do yours oh, now. Okay. Simple, mine is simple. <laughs> please, please. I'm just, I'm, I'm like... Whatever in my case ah, right now. Yeah, no okay. shit. Yes. <laughs> Why is mine falling? It's falling. Is it falling? Yeah, it's it's okay. All right, there. It's all right. Yes. It's fine. I feel like I should have a mint leaf. <laughs> Can yeah. we put a mint leaf yes, on you there? Can. Yes, we can. The more color, the, <laughs> the, the happier the it is. <laughs> Bennett, here oh. we are. No pressure. <laughs> I'm going to put just a <laughs> lovely <laughs> mint leaf yes. right on top. If you'd like right some, should I get you some mint leaves? Or you're okay? I'm okay. Okay. What you can also do with the pecan nuts, <laughs> sprinkle them, a bit of them onto the plate. Okay. You know, get a bit of that effect of uh, roughness. Yes. yes. That looks beautiful. <laughs> and uh, chef, chef, how are we doing there? Ah, that's not English, that's You may go ahead and have a sip of your soda uh, if you'd like some. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yay, Chef Bennett. <laughs> chef Bennett. <laughs> <laughs> have you put some nuts on there? Yep. Yes. <laughs>
Not so many. You can put as much as... That looks beautiful. <laughs> and of course, you guys can also go ahead and enjoy making this absolutely delicious and decadent dessert. I feel like they're easy. Yet Magic. they're going to be delicious. I can't wait to yeah, dig in. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us and Thank for sharing so for these amazing Magic. recipes with awesome. us. Thank I cannot much. wait to dig into this. That's why I'm holding it right now. <laughs> and of course, we do hope that you guys at home enjoy making these desserts as well. You can be able to find out more on the recipes on Hot Plate. That's on Ebrew TV or on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And catch up on some of the recipes that we've made on the show.